This segment of Hack 5 is brought to you by Carbonite. All right, Shannon, as always, we value you guys' emails. Let's see yes. what we got in the email bag this week. All right, so we have two emails to go through. The first one is from Chad. Chad writes, hey, Snubs and Darren, I love your show. Yay. Thank you so much, Chad. But one thing always seems to catch my eye. I always notice that you two are very rarely looking at the camera that is recording you and I might be a little OCD. I was thinking that if you put a light on the camera that would turn on as it is being used, it might improve the quality of broadcast or at the very least settle my mind. Lol. Oh. I kind of agree. I would love to have lights, but we record differently. Yeah, we do. Like It used to be that we would record what's called live to tape, whereas uh, Paul would actually switch the cameras as we're recording. But now we actually record on three cameras all at the same time, and then Paul later in uh, post-production will just go ahead and make slices. So when I do something like this and then I turn my head over here, he's supposed to switch over to that camera or back to this one. But sometimes... Sometimes we since sometimes he has to use different ones just for editing purposes. Like yeah. if we screw up a line or something like that, and you got to refix it with a different camera. You know, there's all sorts of stuff. Or or it's like, well, I don't. I don't know. Look at what they're looking at. They're not looking at any camera. They're looking at each other. You don't see what's going on. He's looking behind her. She's looking behind him. Kirby's, you know, Kirby's. Uh, my cat footage. But what am I supposed to switch to? No, it's it's Paul's discretion, really, is what it yeah, comes down to. I, I have no idea if there's any method to it, but yeah, I guess it can be discerning because like, maybe Paul just likes to make us look dumb. Yeah, I don't know. It's it's just a stylistic thing, so the lights <laughs> wouldn't really work. I like it better this way too because we dictate what camera he's cutting to. Yeah, I kind of like it because yeah. I'm just like, whatever, I'll start on now this on, one. Now I'm gonna look at that camera. What? All right, Shane, what's the next email? All right, so Chris, turn around. <laughs> crash the crash. Uh, crash, crash, crash the leg, like dude. dude. Crash the leg, like dude. <laughs> crash the like leg, dude. I don't know, something like that. Okay, sorry, I totally like yeah, yeah, completely yeah. ruined your name. But anyway, dude writes, hey, I have been looking for a very good free and or open source recorder for my Windows laptop. Do you have any suggestions? Also, I've seen a few recent episodes of Hack 5 and the Hack Tip that you have been recording your screen. What do you use? Uh, you know, I don't remember the open source one we used to use but it was no good, or at least it hasn't kept up with the times. On Windows, uh, we use this software from Blueberry something. Yes. It's called BB Flashback Express. It's free, it's not open source, it does a damn good job. We've been using it for years. Yeah, yeah. it's free, which I love. And you can record li little segments or a, s or a uh, suggested window on your machine. You don't have to record the entire thing. Yeah. You can do video and sound which I've used recently, so I can record a YouTube video and Ooh. send it to my grandma. That's cool. Yeah, and uh, as far as on Linux, I will just throw this out there that I love using FFmpeg, and I get this command line, just FFmpeg script that I use all the time to do an X11 grab. It just grabs a frame, and uh, yeah, it looks good. Yeah, couple all right. free options well, for you. Coming up here in just a bit, we're gonna have trivia and our Technolus photo of the week, but first, let's take a quick break. Stay tuned. Check in with me right there, and I'll tell you about something cool. Computer disasters eventually happen to everyone. But if you get Carbonite Online backup before your disaster, then you'll have no need to worry because your files will be backed up automatically and safely off-site. And you know what? It's also really, really easy to get them back. Plus, you can visit them anytime, anywhere. You can just be like, check in with them from your smartphone, your computer, your iPad with the free Carbonite app. And with Carbonite, unlimited backup for your Mac or PC is just $59 a year. That's less than $5 a month. And when you use the offer code HAK5 to start your 15-day free trial, you get two months if you decide to buy. All the details are over at Carbonite.com. And remember to use the offer code HAK5 to get yourself two months free with purchase. This week it is time for the Technos Photo of the Week, which makes sense because we named it the Technos Photo of the Week and it happens every week. It's, it's one of those things we like to do here on the show. Shannon, help me. It just keeps on going if I don't say anything. It's hilarious. Okay, so Technolus Photo of the Week. This week is GCS8. He sends in a slew of photos of a server rack that he just built, which is quite sexy and very yeah. pretty. It looks very new and shiny and not dusty like most of the ones that I've seen. Hmm. If you've got Technolus photos to share, make sure you send them over to feedback at hack5.org. That's right. Show us your rack. We love them. It's time for trivia. 
Oh, yes, it is. Last week's trivia question was, this historically significant computer nicknamed Peanut, which is adorable, came in two flavors. Mm, delicious. One with 64K of memory and the other one with 128Ks. Wow. What is the actual computer's name? And the answer is IBM PC Jr. Oh, I have yeah. one of those. I think my dad had one of those. My grandfather worked on that project, actually. Aw. Yeah. That's cool, man. Yeah. Oh, geek cred, what? Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm looking forward to getting this or inheriting it sometime oh, eventually. Dude. I'd love to. That it's like signed awesome. by the engineers on the inside and everything. Cool. What's funny is it's actually still in use today. It's doing my stepdad's like VHS collection. Nice. <laughs> He's got a database. Anyway, All right. more than you needed to know. This, this week's week. trivia question is, this nerdcore song features the lyric, I'm going to try to rap this. Oh, no, can I do it? Can I do it? Okay, fine. My multicast datagram IP flow spreads across routers making every net glow. Nice. <laughs> Answer at hack5.org slash trivia for a chance to win some awesome goodies out of my Hack 5 swag bag. It's a really big bag of swag. Anyway, it's guys, like Hermione's bag. remember that uh, you can subscribe, get Hack 5 delivered to you weekly. Hack5.org slash subscribe, all the details. And we have a ton of brand new stuff in the Hack Shop. We have our new crew jackets, which are limited release Woo. and awesome. They look good. Yeah, we just had them for the crew, but we were like, oh, everybody wants them. Did so a small run. Yeah, so small get run. in on that if you can. Get in. We got CDs from Dale Chase and Dual Core. If you haven't checked them out, definitely do so. We just did in the A Block. And the Realtek 8187 that I use all the time, the USB Wi-Fi adapter. I've been using it for years. I love this guy. Everybody kept on asking me, what adapter do you use? I, so, pro I promise I won't bite it unless you ask me to. Um. Okay. Anyway, hit up our social networks so that you can find out the latest, and we'll remind you throughout the week to vote for us next week at revision3.com for the case model of Doom. Hi, kitty. Meow. Bye bye. I had to walk around with that thing. <laughs> All right, you guys, remember to trust your techno life. We'll see you next week. Like, what would you wrap it up like? Like a burrito? I don't think I can stress this enough how serious this is. Serious business. Where are you going? That, nowhere. It's not I, an exit. <laughs> this isn't an exit. Is there an exit over here? No, that's Paul's office. Wow. And the studio gets so small. And later I'll be booting. And later I'll be booting with the bit. <laughs> That's your office. I guess you could open the window and go. That's our hacker hack. Uh, uh, re hacker headline okay. remix. I'm gonna jump out the window. With a bag full of browners. Hey, Kitty, want some packets? Step one: put a hole in the box. Step two: put a snubs in the box. No one put snubs in the box.